The last job I'm going to do before fitting these uh, wheels with these new tyres on the bike is to balance them. I don't normally bother balancing uh, the tyres, you know, the wheels on the KTM, simply because it makes very little difference when you're riding off-road. But I'm fitting these tyres specifically because I know I'm going to be doing quite a lot of uh, road work on this uh, TET trip, so I want it to be as smooth as possible. Now, um, this is a, an ABBA uh, uh, wheel balancer, it's a static wheel balancer. Now there's a lot of discussion about whether you should do, use dynamic or static balancing, but as this is used for GP bikes that do, you know, much faster speeds than I'm ever going to do on my KTM, I think um, it, it, it's good enough for me. So the idea is this, it's got extremely good bearings on here and you've got a spindle and that has to, that, that's got a sort of graded uh, system so you can fit it snugly into the, uh, to the wheels there, into the wheel bearings. And you can see, if I just leave that wheel, that it's rocking backwards and forwards and it's just settling so that there's a heavy spot down at the bottom here. So what I need to do then is add some weights opposite that at the top. Now you can use uh, stick-on weights and I, I use those on my uh, road bike but the problem is with, with off-road bikes they tend to come off so what I've got is these spoke weight. I'll just hold that in front of the, um, if that'll focus, uh, you can see. So they just slip onto the spokes and they come in different sizes, got large ones, small ones, very small ones there. And, and then you just, uh, there's a little grub screw, you clamp them on. So I find that they're the best on the, the dirt bikes. Normally I don't bother, it's only if I, I want a, a really well balanced wheel. So that is settling, so uh, I need to put, add a weight here. Now I just do it by trial and error. Just start by adding a, a weight at the top here and then just seeing how that, um, how that sits um, and see if it um, makes any difference. So, you can see straight away when I add that weight, that top bit starts dropping slightly. So what I, I find the best thing to do is just put it at 90 degrees. So I've got the, the weight there at 90 degrees and see whether it goes up or down. So you can see that that is going up again. I'll do it the other way just to, to check. That's going up again, which suggests that this weight is uh, not large enough. So I'll try one slightly larger than that see what I've got I don't even bother you know weighing them or anything it's just because you're just trying to you're just trying to balance so I'm not trying to work out what weight I need just trying to f work out which one balances it and again I'm not looking for perfection because um, you know we're not we're not doing stupid high speeds I just want it to be as smooth as possible when I'm when I'm on the tarmac right so again put that at 90 degrees see what happens that's going up again that's going up again so that suggests I need something that's uh, slightly bigger than that one so I think the next one up is this one so I'll try that one and just do that by trial and error until I think I'm getting fairly close but do that by trial and error until I get one which um, seems to uh, balance out so let's again put that at 90 degrees see what happens It's fairly close. Yep, still good. That, that surprises me actually. I suspect that one bigger than that will be too much, but we can try it as I've got the whole range. I'll save that one because I think that's probably the closest one I need. Put this one on. Again. Just try it at 90 degrees. You've got to be very careful when you do this that you don't sort of nudge it as you let go, try and get it stable and then, there, how's that? Try it the other way. I think that's good enough. There. So, that's sitting static now. So, I'll just cinch that one up. There we are, wheel balanced. Pop it back on the back. Okay, exactly the same procedure on the rear wheel. That's settling just there, so I need to add some weight the top side. So again, I'll just do it by trial and error and see uh, yeah, what, what fits on there. 
balances it out. So I'll start with that weight, put it at 90 degrees, see what happens. Just not quite enough for that one, still spinning back up again. Try something a little bit bigger. I think that's the same uh, same size weight as I put on the front wheel actually so let's see what that does mm, that's going up slightly 90 degrees that side going up very very slightly just very slightly I mean I'd be happy with that but I'll just try one one size up on that and the weight see what that does that's the next size up I'm not I'm not looking for perfection here simply because You know, I'm not going to be doing massive high speeds, so let's have a look. It's still going up very slightly, is that one. Very, very slightly. I mean, I can always add another weight, add another smaller weight to one of the other spokes. So, say, add a weight on here, see what that does. Try that one. I think that pretty much does it. That's sitting solid at 90 degrees. That one as well. I think we've got it. I think that's balanced. So I'll just cinch these down and get this back on the bike, and we're all good with my um, sort of 50 50 tyres for the Scandinavian Tet. Good stuff.